Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So in the second video today, uh, you're going to find me acting very drowsy and very tired. Actually, what is being discussed in this video is kind of what came to mind while I was doing that on the, the later video, or at least recording it. So the idea behind it was to jokingly yawn, but as I was going about it, it actually led me into naturally yawning to the point where I started to think I was tired or exhausted. Realistically, I'm fine, but fake yawning actually started leading to real yawning. And the thing I wanted to talk about is when I started thinking of that. What what I find interesting is there are some fake actions that can lead to real of the same actions within a short time span. And I find it very interesting. For example, outside of that, laughing. Um, let, let me showcase an example. I don't know if I'm going to succeed or not, but I'll try. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I succeeded. So, within the first two seconds of that, it was completely fake. But after that, it became real. I find it very intriguing that this kind of thing can happen. Now, this can almost be done with almost any emotion. When actors or actresses go out and do this kind of thing for their job, it, this is probably one of the methods that a lot of them take. They'll fake it to the point where it becomes realistic, and they probably practice it so much to the point where it can be second nature. Um, like crying, for example. A lot of actors and actresses have to fake crying to be able to act out their character properly. And, well, for that to work out, Sometimes it has to be done instantly. There are some exceptions to this. But with something like that, it's the same concept where you'll go into, you can kind of tell it's fake crying, but pretty soon after that, it's actually real. Now, this is a method only some actors and actresses have. Not all of them. And it's the analogy of what's going on behind that is actually very, in my opinion, very intriguing. It's a personal thought to me that I feel like is more subtle at times, but can be very helpful. Um, for example, like the laughter one I did earlier. Say you're trying to keep in a positive mood in the area, but you're feeling very down about something. Now, a lot of people do this. I met several people who have actually admitted it as well. You force a laugh, but randomly, somewhere in the mix, the laughter you showcase is actually real laughter. Meant to be fake, but because of the force and the response your body gives to some things at times, it suddenly became real. This is something that I feel like personally is very intriguing and very interesting. I, I know the two words are extremely similar and apologies to those who might get bothered by it because I'm sure there are several out there who are just like, really, you can pick a different word. I'm sorry. Although, I, I guess one of the more natural ones is, like, tiredness. Realistically, I was in that video and am still, at this point, exhausted. But, I am not tired. It can be discussed on what I feel, I, I, what my thoughts on the difference between the two is. We can discuss that in another video at a later, a later date. However, when I did the fake yawning... For the video later on, it started to show real yawning. 
which took me by surprise, and I kept going, trying to persevere through it, but as I did that, it impacted my brain in a way. It convinced my brain it was real to the point where I actually started getting slightly, not a lot, just a little bit, drowsy throughout the video, and it became noticeable too. As you can see from um, me right now, I'm fully wide awake. It's, as I said, I'm exhausted, but I'm wide awake, and this is being recorded, mind you, after the later video. So if you watch that and you see kind of the downgrade of drowsiness, that's because of the impact of what fake actions can have when they transfer into real ones. Like I said before, I find this very interesting. But how about you guys? What do you guys think about this kind of thing? Fake to real. Circumstances. Um, do you find interest in them? Or is it just me? Just me here? Let us know in the comments below. If you'd like us to talk about something else on this channel, uh, why not let us down there as well? We can get to it when we can. Uh, if you want to check out any of the other discussion and rants on this channel, click the link on the side of my head. Our train is probably parked, but you know what? I'm sure we can get our nostalgia train to you that long list of 970 plus videos. If I remember correctly, I believe this is 975 or 976. Um, or if that's not quite floating your boat, why not click the link on the other side where it'll give you an idea of something you may enjoy from the channel itself. In any case, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see you guys in another. Bye-bye.